Record breaking warm temperatures on this Monday means danger in the water. Rescue teams rushed to save several lives from local rivers. And we've got pinpoint weather team coverage for you this afternoon. Sally Showman standing by. But first, we begin with reporter Ken Body live along the Columbia River. And Ken, this great weather means people flock to the river, but a lot of them are caught by surprise. Yes, they really are. And we found that that happened at least a couple of times this weekend. As you mentioned, the weather is just gorgeous, but the area rivers, they are running cold, they are running fast. And one woman in Vancouver got herself into a situation that turned out to be extremely frightening. Took off extremely fast and then flipped, of course, about 150 feet down. And it was very scary. <laughs> Vanessa Lopez of Vancouver knows she's lucky to be alive with only a hurt leg to show for her ordeal on the Washougal River. Can't move it very well. I can walk, but I can't lift it up or bend my knee very well. And then I banged up both my knees. She and a friend, Eric Gonzalez, put in at Big Eddie on the Washougal. Within moments, the cold swift current flipped both their kayaks and they struggled to stay afloat. And it kept sucking me under, and then I'd come back up, and then it would suck me under. And I remember trying to think, okay, go feet forward down the river. And, you know, because you go feet forward so you can hit the rocks. And then I kept trying to grab the rocks, and I'd swim over to a little rock, and then I'd try grabbing it, and I'd just slide off because they were so slimy and the water was going so fast. The swift currents eventually separated them. Vanessa made it to an island, and a neighbor helped her get to shore. But now she's worried about Eric, who's lost his kayak and is still floating out there. Now he could be up there and he's going to be drowning because his foot's stuck in the river and I don't know what's going on. It turns out Eric floated more than three miles downriver before being helped out of the water by some fishermen. They both survived and their ordeal wasn't the only one on the rivers this weekend. Two other people flipped their kayaks on the Malala River. Joshua Huber of Portland was able to make it to shore. Cindy Wade had to be hoisted to safety and Vanessa has learned her lesson. One lesson would be not to go out in the river when you don't know the river. And rescuers say that it's important to have the proper equipment as well. The fact that all of these kayakers had personal flotation devices on probably saved some lives yesterday. And they say it's also important, especially if you're inexperienced, to wear helmets as well. You get into the water, your kayak flips, then, you know, your head could be hit on those rocks. Also, be sure that you know where you're going and what you're doing. Reporting for you live on the Columbia River, Ken Body, Coin Local 6.